Dr. Arnold, we're hearing a lot these days about something called epigenetics. Could you explain what epigenetics is and what role, if any, Link plays in epigenetics? Absolutely. So we, um, we know that there are thousands of different genes in our DNA sequence. Um, there's DNA that doesn't ever do anything within our DNA sequence. Let me give you a perfect example. We know that inside of our bodies, humans and guinea pigs, we don't make vitamin C. And yet, the DNA instructions in there, we just don't make it. All the rest of the mammals make their own vitamin C. Now, I'm going somewhere with this, which is that the reason is because that epigenetic, or we call it a methylation layer, you can kind of think of it like a blanket that's over your DNA. So you, we've all seen the double helix and how that comes around. And you've got this blanket that surrounds it. And then depending upon what genes your body wants to express, it will uncover that blanket pull out the DNA, it will then make the protein and away it goes and it does its job. So in a nutshell, that's what epigenetics is. It's that blanket and it decides what genes get expressed and or not. And we know that there are certain toxins, uh, infections, chronic um, different uh, components of, of our diet that can actually alter those genes in the way that they're expressed. Interestingly enough, Link um, is one of those products that affects the epigenetics, the methylation blanket, if you will, that covers our DNA. And it has a definite effect, a measured effect, on our inflammatory system. So it upregulates our anti-inflammatory system and downregulates the pro-anti-inflammatory pro proteins. So in that way, it balances out our, our inflammation, if you will. Because it upregulates those anti-inflammatories, those are called antioxidants. And so helps us deal with oxidative stress. So we are affecting our genes one way or the other with almost everything that we do. Yes. With our lifestyle choices, with our food choices, and so and that's doing it subconsciously. And so intentionally, it probably makes sense for us to take products that will positively affect those genes to accomplish all those benefits you've talked about today. That's a great way to put it.